Rice has been grown in Vietnam's Mekong Delta for thousands of years. But because seawater frequently floods the low-lying land, farmers struggled with salt-polluted soil. Plants were often weak and harvests low. Climate change translates to drought. It translates to desertification. It translates to unprecedented levels of flooding that we are seeing. It also leads to salt pollution of the soil. All these contribute to depressed crop yields. And when crop yields are depressed, then you have scarcity and there is a spike in prices of food. Fast forward to today, and the Mekong Delta is Vietnam's prime rice producing area. Rice is exported from here to countries around the world, at considerable economic gain for its farmers. The reason for the turnaround? The introduction of high yielding, salt resistant rice varieties developed by plant breeders, with the support of the International Atomic Energy Agency. At their laboratories just outside Vienna, Agency scientists use nuclear technology to help countries like Vietnam achieve enhanced agricultural output. They apply radiation to seeds or parts of plants. It speeds up the process of spontaneous changes that occur naturally in plants over thousands of years. Changes that produce certain characteristics. It's a proven, cost-effective and environmentally friendly technique. For 70 years now, Deliberate use of nuclear technology to enhance and improve crops have produced up to 3,000 officially released new varieties, better yield, higher quality, nutritious value, resistance to harsh environments, resistance to diseases and pests. So yes, indeed, we, we, can, we can produce, a, using a tool, new and better crops to feed the world. In Ghana, cocoa farmers face an old enemy in the swollen shoot virus. For decades it has attacked plantations, sometimes wiping out harvests and thousands of cocoa trees. Now, thanks to mutation breeding techniques, cocoa strains have been developed that have a strong resistance to the virus. Better harvests mean increased exports and improved economic growth for this sub-Saharan country. Cassava, with its large starchy roots, is a staple food for millions of people in African countries such as Ghana, Nigeria and Sierra Leone. Experts say if a major disease should strike the cassava crops, there would be widespread famine. Research at the IAEA laboratories is focused on crops that are crucial to the food security of millions of people. As the world faces a new food crisis of overwhelming proportions, the use of nuclear technology to enhance agricultural production provides a sustainable, long-term solution.